Hello and welcome to Factiva in an international perspective. My name is Jennifer Bocher, the business reference librarian. Today we will be learning about Factiva, which is a database full of articles. You will learn how to get to Factiva, how to search in a non-English capacity, how to use the metadata, and then also how to translate the articles uh, in this database. Getting to Factiva is as simple as going to the library's website, which is library.georgetown.edu. Once you're here on this website, you'll see this big box. Put your mouse there, click on data, and type in F-A-C-T-I-V-A, -A, Factiva. Click on search, and then you'll see it right there, and you can go right into it. Now we're going to be talking about how to search with Infectiva. Don't use the search box up at the very top because we want to go down below and use the field searching. I'm interested in sustainability manufacturing in Asia. So first I go to the subject and go sustainability under industry. I choose basic materials. I could go down deeper, but I want everything. I go into Asia. And I could say, you know, I want parts of Asia, but let's do all of Asia. And then that's one of the ways I could search there. Using the search button, I commence my search, which results in 34,275 articles, most of them in the most recent year. Now, instead of focusing the part in the middle, which you'll want to go to, let's go and look at the metadata that's off to the side. You could see here that these are the companies that are being mentioned in the articles at the t same time. Skipping down past sources, we could see what other subjects are, are these articles talking about, and particularly what in, uh, industries are most of these articles going to be talking about. Notice chemistry, not mining, which was interesting. The languages tells me what countries some of these articles are focusing in and then uh, then we can go down and see more data about the articles. Now let's focus on the middle part. We can see that most of these articles are not in English. In fact this one is from Japanese with 724 words and here we have another Japanese article in a similar time but it has more words to it so I want to see what's going on here. Instead of translating the article quickly, uh, first, I go into the related Dow Jones intelligence. And just by seeing the metadata in here, I could tell what, who the article is about and what type of art, what kind of information I'm going to find from this article. So then I decide I'm going to translate it. I click on translate. I select my favorite language, English, and it translates the article for me. This is a wonderful service that uses Google Translate. This is very good information, but do, it's 34,000 articles. I want to see something more current and look at the metadata that's more current. So I go to Modify Search and I change my dates to the last five years. And then I do the search again so that I could review all of the metadata that's listed here. We can see that the companies have changed their names. I want to thank you for joining me on this review of Factiva. If you have any questions, please contact me. Bye.